Hi friends, how are you today? It's Peggy Noe from prettypapercards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie, on this uh, lovely Friday afternoon in January. Welcome, welcome. We're so happy that you're here. I'm going to check and make sure that um, we're live. I just need to see it come up on my laptop here to make sure that everything is in order. Uh, okay, good. It looks like we are. So happy to see you today. How is your weather where you are? We are fairly warm here. It's cool at night. But today it's about 70, I think, maybe a little bit more out here where we live. And um, it's just nice because we can open the windows and stuff, which is really nice. Hi, Ross. Good to see you. Yes, I am feeling better. Renee, good. I had a cold. I had my party, my team party on Saturday. And um, shortly thereafter, I got a head cold where both my husband and I got it. And my nose was just running, running, running. I couldn't even stop it running. And finally, this morning I woke up and I was not 100%, but a lot better. Carol, rainy Connecticut. Okay, Marsha Long, good to see you. Rain in Connecticut. Yeah, I think you guys, I think the East Coast is getting the pouring rain that we had last week. Marsha, thank you. Feeling so much better so much better. I may cough or sneeze or something, but basically it's pretty pretty much gone. Roz, low 80s, wow, but getting cold again early next week. Margaret Gordon, yes, good morning to you, Margaret Gordon. Good to see you. Tina from Granite Falls, raining in Texas. Rain is good, but I know parts of Texas I thought were flooding. Tina, I'm I'm much better, thank you. My it was just a real head cold and just um I couldn't get rid of it. My nose just kept running. And so I took medication and you know how that does it kind of makes you groggy and knocks you out and all that. And so um we're back. We're back. Yay. <laughs> and we had a wonderful a wonderful uh, team party and in fact I've got some of the swaps we did some of us swapped you know whoever wanted to and some of the gals who live um, out of state sent their swaps and I'm sending them back to them so I'm going to show you some today some of our pr pretty swaps drizzle in Sydney Australia Woo. drizzle is good though as long as it's not flooding not pouring pouring rain and yeah, so everything, everybody's doing well. Holly, good to see you, Holly pa Paplo. Very good to see you. And Ellie loved having all the ladies over over the weekend. She she loves having company and they all love her. And she was a star, of course. And I think I posted a picture. And she, when I was busy, I would hand her off to someone else and they would hold her. Uh, of course, she always wanted to get back to mama, but... Um, she loved having the company. We had it. We had a really fun time. We made stuff, and it's just fun, you know, to get together. When stampers get together, it's so much fun. Linda, good to see you. And I just encourage all of you just to get together with somebody else and stamp. It's such. It's just fun to do. We made uh, three make and take cards at the party on sat last Saturday. And everybody enjoyed that, and I gave out a bunch of prizes, and we ate the cupcakes and other things. Some of the ladies brought delicious food. Um, it was great. You know, it's hard when your te my team is all across the nation. I have um, team members in many other different states, but it's good when the local ones can just get together. You know, if you're local, it's good to get together. Everybody loves getting together. Okay, well, what is new? What's going on? Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and put Ellie down, as you can see. You wanna get down? Okay. She's gonna go ahead and get down. And um, we were um, still in celebration. You guys, I can't believe it's almost the end of the month. Next Wednesday will be the 31st. And so celebration, our biggest sale of the year, only lasts for two months. 
uh, January and February, so we're pretty close to halfway through. So if you haven't seen, hi Kay Phipps, good to see you from North Carolina. Um, make sure you look in this catalog and get any prizes that you want gifts, the different free gifts that you get with minimum purchases. Make sure that you get what you want before the end of next month, February. Um, I don't want anybody to be left out and miss some wonderful, the, I think they're wonderful gifts this year. And then we're still in the mini catalog, the spring mini. This goes on until April, I think through the end of April. Let me check here. Um, April 30th, yes. And we're gonna use some stuff out of this today. I did wanna give you a little update. I went on the uh, inventory status report right before I came on. The Lifetime of Love set, which has been really popular. I don't even have it. Um, but I've been considering it because it's so pretty. This one right here, the stamp set itself on page 16 is um, not available right now. They say it'll be in on February 12th, which isn't too long to wait. So I like to always give you the update of what's in and what's out. So this stamp set for Lifetime of Love um, is out until February 12th. They're going to restock it then. The Modern Oval Punch, which we talked about, and it was set not to come back till the end of April, they've revised that, and now it's coming back on March 11th. The Modern Oval Punch, such a great punch. So keep your eyes out for that coming back. And another one that's out is um, the Heartfelt Hexagon Punch, and that is the end of April, but I'm thinking they might revise that too. I think if they find it can come in sooner. Um, so I always like to give you that little update. So I thought I would turn you down and we will take a look at, um, wait a second, we'll take a look at some of the swaps. And we do have those little dots, but I don't think you'll mind because I've got a little better lighting today. And some of these swaps are really fun and we're going to make some. I'm going to make a card like this one. This was made from the Trusty Tools set. And it opens like that, so it says, you do a great job of being a great guy. Happy Father's Day. Isn't that cute? She did a really great job. One of my, I have the best team. I just have such a great team, my sweet stampers. They are amazing card makers. So I think this is cute. This circle was made with the um, uh, deckled circles. So I look for me to make one similar, but I probably won't use the um, the tools set. Oh, good, Cindy, glad you caught me live. Lori Mantovi, yes, thank you, I am better. I'm happy to be better. So this is a super cute, a uh, fun fold. This one blows me away. This one just blows me away. I actually am just gonna hold it. So you just open it and it's like that. But you guys, check this out. So this piece right here, it starts about here, um, is embossed with waves, kind of waves. And that's the first layer. Then under that is the white layer. Under that is this layer that's been um, blended. Let me get it closer where you can see it. Blending brush and the seagulls. And then out of one of the layers comes the wave with the white foam on it. And out comes the whale don't you think it's a whale or shark? I don't know. And this is um, heat embossed in black. And then the hello is down here. Is I mean, I'm just going to put it up so you can really see it. Isn't that just a gorgeous, gorgeous card? I'm telling you, I have amazing team members. This is one using the owl set from the holidays. Very pretty the owl just flying through with the moon in the background. And this is the set we're gonna to use today. We're gonna to use Perennial Lavender, the Perennial Lavender Mega Suite. This is a card that is, okay, look, check that out. I, I don't know if that was colored purple or that was, we don't, I don't think we sell purple glimmer right now, but we might have in the past. But check this out. It's on just a one card backing so that when you open it up, you get to see all that beautiful paper like that. Isn't that beautiful? And a couple of the little butterflies. I really like that. Now, this is another one that I want to make. Check this out. 
Look at that. I am going to figure this out. I don't think it's too hard. That little part kind of flops a little bit. I guess it could be folded under if you wanted to. But I think that is, isn't that just beautiful? And especially with the uh, Flight and Airy Designer Series paper with those birds. Isn't that just beautiful? I really like that. Okay, this is, you know, we make a special size card, our five and a half by four and a quarter, but a lot of people expect that we would give them a full size card. So this is more of a five by, I don't know if it's a full five by seven, but she's used this beautiful uh, paper, Meadow, Meadow something paper. Isn't that pretty? So that you can really see all the paper opening up. I really like that. Then this reminds me to do a belly band. Okay, I haven't I made a belly band card for a long time, but I love the way, and I'm not sure, this is a square put on top of the belly band. Yeah, that's just a square on there. Let me check it out with the two coming behind it. And it looks really neat, doesn't it? I think it, it's a really nice look with the two hearts from Most Adored. And then it opens up, that is my favorite heart this year my favorite heart stamp that is so beautiful and this is the most adored paper and then here's another dogwood we we made a dogwood card last week this is a celebration item and beautiful just beautiful and then this was mine and i'm not 100 percent pleased with it because i was just trying out this new hybrid embossing folder um, and I still need to work some more on it because that says just because, but I, I needed to put the, um, I needed to put white ink, I think, on the inside. Hi, Vicki Eakins. Good to see you. Where is that? This is the embossing folder right here. This one called Thoughtful Moments Hybrid Embossing Folder, and you cut out all the different words. The embossing folder embosses them and then the um, die cuts them out. But I I haven't attempted to play with the brayer yet. I really need to because the, just because is raised up there, you can see that, but I should have um, brayered it with um, white ink or had white paper and brayered it with red ink. Vicki Eakins, good to see you. So I'm still playing with that. But aren't those some gorgeous cards, you guys? I love my team, and I would love for any of you that are not demonstrators to become a part of my team during celebration and get the get either this wonderful um, glass mat studio or $155 in product for $99, which is an amazing bargain. So don't forget that I have a link up above for Facebook, down below for YouTube. And I would love to have any of you join my team. We have a lot of fun together. Okay, the card we're gonna make today is, um, I mentioned to you we're gonna look at the Perennial Lavender Mega Suite. And so I've used pieces from different parts of this suite. And I do wanna show you a little something here. Let's get the catalog right back out and go to the lavender suite if I can find it just right off hand here here we go okay the perennial lavender now a mega suite is one that has two bundles in it and this has two full bundles and one is the painted lavender bundle which is this one that's the flowers and the dyes that go with the flowers and the other bundle is Perennial Lavender Bundle, which is the words and the, um, wait a minute, Perennial Postage Bundle, which is the words and the Perennial Postage Dies, which we all love. If you don't have those, those are classics. And we're gonna use one of those today. It also comes, if you get the sweet, um, which I did during the pre-order, it comes with the butterflies and these pretty, um, lavender jewels and this gorgeous paper. We're going to use all of that today. And, uh oh, I 
have a few things holding up there. Hi, Cindy. Just take a sponge dabber and dab in the white ink and brush it over the raised area lightly. That works. Okay, Cindy, thank you so much. I've got I've got a sponge dabber with white that I use for white ink. I hadn't thought of that. Thank you, Cindy. Excellent idea. <clears throat> this right here, this beautiful little hanging square with flowers. This is the next thing I'm going to attempt. They put it, um, Stampin' Up! put it up for the demonstrators to see with a video on how to make it, I think. And I'm going to be attempting that pretty soon. Okay, let's take a look at the card we're going to make today. So we're going to use um, two of the papers here and different stamps and dies and we are just going to have fun because this paper this whole mega suite is amazing so this the paper we're going to use is this one which has lost lagoon on it and we're going to use this one which has crumb cake and our card base i'm going to make it a little different than our sample the card base instead of being white is going to be fresh freesia so we're going to see how that turns out and so I wanted to cut the paper with you. Um, now, some people, when you're doing paper like this, some people would cut an inch here and then this part right here. But personally, this is just me personally, I like to cut this uh, Lost Lagoon leaf piece fully all the way across. I feel like it prevents, it's much easier because you don't end up possibly getting a little space in there so I thought I would cut it and show you in the size the size of paper I want to fill this space is four by five and a quarter so we're just going to start that and we're going to cut this piece it takes more paper I understand but I like the way it comes out better so four by five and a quarter like that okay and then, so this is going to cover the whole front with leaving a little frame. And then this piece is going to be three by five and a quarter, and it already is three. Um, hi, Becky. Good to see you. Um, and so now I'm going to cut it at five and a quarter. It's the other half that I had left from cutting uh, the part for the sample card. Okay, so now we've got our two pieces and we're ready to make our, not the card base, but really the, the base behind all the pretty lavender flowers that we're going to put on. Okay, and I do, oh gosh, I mean, isn't it just beautiful? You just can't help yourself. Look at that. Maybe I should do it that way. But I am going to stay with, the, with this because it's going to pull in the leaves that I have. It's so hard to decide when the paper is so beautiful like this. It really is very hard to decide. Okay. So we're just gonna put that piece down and allow that to set. Let me get my glasses on my eyeballs. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this piece on. And that way it leaves that one inch border there. Just using my multi-purpose liquid glue and like I said, this is what I like about using the full piece down below underneath because this way I don't have to worry about having a possible space in there. I know it's going to look great. Okay, so that's all set. Now we're going to start to build our flower bouquet. And so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to get the mini stamp and cut in the boss machine. And what we're going to do is we are going, there are lots of flower dies here in the painted lavender die set. This is the set with just the flowers, painted lavender die set. And this is what it looks like. Uh, plus, that's for later, plus this one. Okay, all these come. This, I think, is a very beautiful die. And I'm going to cut two of these out of Lost Lagoon. I really like this leaf very much. I might be using it on other, other projects that aren't even related to the lavender set because it, it really is a striking uh, 
die. So let's get that guy over just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to show you what's so pretty about it. Yes, Linda, I agree. The lavender paper is just gorgeous. Okay, now I'm going to use my take your pick tool. Whoops, I don't want that to happen. Okay, I just meant to take the top off. And I'm going to just poke out, poke through so my leaves come out there. And I want to show you how beautiful this is. Can you see how it even cuts a little line? I don't know if you can actually see, but it cuts a little line in each leaf, okay? So that it really has such a realistic look. It's not even just embossed. It's actually a line that's cut. You can see space through it. I think you could put a piece of baker's twine if you wanted. And isn't that just such a pretty leaf? I just love it. So I want two. You know, if you love it, make two. That's my policy. Have more than one if you love it. Yes, beautiful. Holly, it is. It really is. Okay. So here's our second one, and we'll go through again and poke out that little extra piece, and we'll release the leaf from the die. And there's our second, our second leaf. Okay, set that aside. And now we'll do our next item. And this I'm going to do a little differently. It, I think it's a bit of a learning curve because there is a lot going on here with these dies. Okay, that's not the die I want. Where is the one I want? Oh, here it is. These dies. Let me put this back. There is so much. So these rounder type let me show you these here one two three and this one all those um, cut out a stamped image from the stamp set okay here's the stamp set I'll put it right here so all of these have dies that cut out the stamped image but I wanted to see what this one did because this is a puzzle to me I kind of didn't get this one so I thought let's try it and let's see what it does so I'm going to use it twice on a piece of basic white cardstock just a scrap and I'll show you what it does so real looking oh it would be cute sponge with it to show the lines more I totally agree Becky so what this does is it actually cuts out two stemmed flowers, two stemmed lavender flowers. Look at that. So I'm going to make four. I'm going to do it one more time for, for our little bouquet that we're going to make. You know, I've told you before, I think Stampin' Up! has, they have really been doing so much with their dies that it really, you have to play with it to, to even get near to exhausting all that these dies do in just one set. Okay, so now we have four beautiful flower stems. And while we're here die cutting, I am going to go ahead and that leaves some little dots. I'm going to get those off of there. I'm going to go ahead and cut, um, use one of the postage stamp dies to be the background behind my flower bouquet. Okay, so this is the size I want. And this is um, Fresh Freesia cardstock again, the same as the card base. And I think this should be the end of our die cutting. And here is our little postage stamp rectangle, which we're going to use. So we can put these off to the side. And now we have our leaves and our stemmed lavender and our background piece which I'm going to put on here and then we're going to adhere our leaves and, and our stems. But first I want to color my stems and what I decided to do, and I could um, do blending and I could do all kinds of different things, but what I decided to do is use, um, I mean I could use blending brushes, it would be softer, but I decided to go ahead and use uh, Stampin' Blends alcohol markers. 
and it also shows off a little bit of what you can do with your glass mat because um, I don't have to put anything behind here. So I'm going to give, this is one of the colors in the paper. You know, I've told you how to look up the colors, look in the catalog, and it'll tell you the colors that are in the paper. And this is Shaded Spruce, one of the colors in the paper. And I think on this one, I'm going to just color that little top knot Shaded Spruce. And I'll just color the stems Shaded Spruce like that. And here's that other one with the little top knot. Okay, and I've got several different colors. Now, on the one I did for the sample, I used Berry Burst and Fresh Freesia. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little something different. I'm gonna use a bit of um, Orchid Oasis. Why did I get Orchid Oasis? I don't know. I think that's one of the colors that goes with it. And we'll just brush a little of that, of the Orchid Oasis. It's pretty blue. Let me see what I think. What do we think? I still kind of like it, don't you? Yeah. It's kind of bluish. And so I'm going to do a few flowers in the Orchid Oasis just for fun. I think that's okay just to add different colors into your bouquet. All right, and then I've got here Dark Highland Heather. Let's use some of that. Just because the paper uses all kinds of purples. So I'm just going to go ahead and color. And it really isn't, you know, you can, you can smudge a bit as far as fudge a bit, getting some over to the side, getting it on another flower. It's all okay because, you know, when you have flowers of different colors all together, it's kind of like that. Okay, and then I'm going to come in and do a few in Berry Burst on this one right here. We'll just add all these different colors. That looks really red next to the purples, doesn't it? And then I'm going to fill in with Fresh Freesia because this is the lightest one. And I'm using the brush ends on all of these. And I really do love Fresh Freesia. And in this case, for the bouquet, I think it is kind of almost a neutral color. It, it comes in and brings them all together. Wow, that Orchid Oasis I really like. Which one is that? That's Orchid Oasis. Yeah, this is the Dark Highland Heather right here but it brings them all together. And it's not, I'm just kinda, I'm just, just going to town. I'm not, you know, trying to stay in any lines or anything like that. And I really like that because it's easy. Just having fun. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to see if this is going to rub off. Okay, it's that's fine. It's I can leave it because it's not going to get on anything. But you know what I've discovered is I, I've kind of been liking using um, antibacterial stuff because it smells so good. This is the one I had from Christmas called Twisted Peppermint. And then it makes my area smell so good. And it works fine to get everything, to get the color off and glue. Off your spit off your glass mat okay so here is our bouquet and we've also got these guys and this is our piece that's gonna stand up right there so what I think we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and put down our main leaves these are the leaves that kind of are going to frame the bouquet so I'm just going to put a few dots of glue right on the back there. Whoops. And I want it to kind of come over a bit like that. And I'm not going to worry because I'm going to put a strip right across there. So if any glue comes out right in that area, I am not going to worry about it. Sponge. Yes, sponge. I could sponge, you could sponge dauber, you could blending brush, 
And I'm sure I'm probably going to give a try with all of those items. I just thought we would play today. So here I think I'm kind of just going to do the last flower and a little bit of the stem just to get it to adhere there. I, I don't like to glue everything down because I like it to come upward. I think that makes the card look so much more realistic. I want one of the flower stems to come up tall. So I'll use that one to be tall. Then I'll put in this Orchid Oasis one. Okay. I think I might, let's see, have that go up there too. So you just really get to make your bouquet any way you want. And then, let's see. So I'm just putting glue on the, the lowest flower and a little bit on the stem. And then I think I'll just fill this one in down there, just like that. Okay. So there's our bouquet. I'll press down on those lower flowers. And now we're ready to put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back and we're going to adhere it to the front of our card. I'm not going to use it. It doesn't take a lot. I'm just going to use two dimensionals. It's not a big deal. And I'm going to put this in the center between the two sides um, of this checked piece. And I don't want the top stem to come up over where the card is because it, then it wouldn't fit in the envelope, right? And we wouldn't want that. So there's our bouquet. Now what we're going to do is put a, a sentiment strip on it. Where is my sentiment strip? Hold on. Okay, I've got a couple pieces in case I make a mistake. And the sentiment then, so we've been using this painted lavender bundle. That's what we've been using to do almost everything except the uh, postage stamp rectangle. And this is part of the perennial postage bundle. So I used one of the rectangles and now I'm going to use um, here for you always, the sentiment. So one of the stamps that's in the bundle is all words and one of the stamps that's in the bundle is all images. So I'm going to go ahead and use Here For You Always. And I'm going to go ahead and use Gorgeous Great because it's going to be a little bit darker on my um, Fresh Freesia piece here. And I'm going to see if I can get this straight. Not too bad. And then I could I could trim it down, trim it a little bit thinner. Let's see what I think. Because this is what I did before, is I just had it come across like that. I think I'm gonna to continue to do that, but you know what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring in the little butterfly stamp. I don't know if you've seen this. This is in the one with the different flowers, the painted lavender. Look at these little butterflies. Do you see those two? Those are two little butterflies and they're together on one stamp. <coughs> okay, there's my cold. So I'm gonna put a few of the, I'm just gonna stamp the butterflies here in fresh freesia ink. Isn't that cute? Let's see. Isn't that just cute? I like it. And I forgot, I need a white piece for the inside of the card. When we have a colored card base, we always need to have a little white piece to go on the inside. This is where you're going to write. And so I'm going to put some little butterflies on that too. Whoops, that didn't come out quite right. Let me see if I can fix that. Sometimes you can go right over it. Not too bad. And I'll put a few butterflies over here. I just think those are so cute. And while I'm at it, oh, I already did stamp the envelope because I was stamping a little while ago. So I went ahead and stamped that envelope. Aren't they sweet? They're so cute, Linda. They're just adorable. So let's go ahead and put this 
inside and then we'll put our sentiment strip on the front. Just like that. I do love Fresh Freesia. I really love the color. It's it's close to pink and pink is my favorite color so I do like it. Okay, now we're ready to put our sentiment piece on and it already has the little butterflies so we're going to go with just a dimensional on each corner like this and then we're going to add some jewels okay so this is what i mean it doesn't matter that maybe some glue would show out i don't really see any but we're just going to cover that whole thing with this strip which is one inch by four just like that and now these are purple fine shimmer gems and you guys they are really shimmery can you can you see them shimmering i don't know if you can really see it but they have little little silvery bits in there that cause them to be shimmery so where are my let's use these scissors and they come in the three colors this is the berry burst i think this is highland heather and i think this is fresh freesia so I think I'm going to go for the Highland Heather. And let's just put a few around here. And you know how I like to press down on top of them afterward um, to make sure they stay when I send my card through the mail. And you've got a couple of sizes. I think it's just two, large <clears throat> and small. I'm going to go ahead and just stay with the small. And let's see, maybe I'll put one up here. Okay, and we'll put one little one right down here. There we go. So there's our cute card. I mean, there is so much, you guys. There is so, so much you can do with this um, mega suite. I mean, it's amazing. There is so much you can do. Thank you, Cindy. It's, it's just all the colors are there. And again, I'm just going to show you. So here's the page where the in the catalog where the Mega Suite is, and it just tells you, you know, Shaded Spruce, Lost Lagoon, Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape, Berry Burst, and Fresh Freesia. I think I used almost every one of those colors, and because I didn't have to think of it, Stampin' Up! thought of it, and it's all right there. And it looks beautiful together, and you've made a gorgeous card. And especially a sentiment like this for someone who might be going through something hard. I'm here for you always. I really like this sentiment. In fact, let me just take a quick look. I know this has some really good sentiments in it. Um, I know you will get through this. That's a good one. You are loved beyond measure. You are simply marvelous. Marvelous, darling. <laughs> These are some big hugs. I've used that already a couple times. Very nice, nice sentiments. So here are the two different cards together. So you can see that this one I used more of the Berry Burst. And this one I used, I added the Highland Heather, which gives it, a, I almost like this one better, I think. So beautiful, beautiful. I hadn't used this yet on a live and I wanted to, I wanted to use it with you guys. Um, the check background. Yes, that is one of the really nice papers in there. Okay, let's come up. It is, it's just a beautiful, beautiful suite. So we need to give away a prize. So last week we made the dogwood. Um, we made a dogwood card and this is the one we made and so this is the prize for this week is the dogwood card and the winner this from actually last week from when you put down you know um, prize last week all up until about a half an hour before I come on I gather them all together give them a number and run them through the run and do the random number generator and it came out Tina lesson Tina, congratulations. You are the winner of the dogwood card, and I will get this out to you. And for those of you, I see Tina right there. 
So for those of you who might have been waiting for some prizes to come to you, I they're all going in the mail tomorrow. And so Tina, I'll try to get yours in there too. I have the postman comes and picks up if you have packages and stuff. And so he's scheduled to come tomorrow and pick up a whole bunch of stuff and including all the prizes that uh, haven't been mailed to date. And so Tina, I'll get this in there and you'll get this later. Um, well, today's Friday, so you'll get it next week. So the prize for next week, I ordered an extra package of the purple jewels. And what are they called again? Purple Fine Shimmer Gems. I got an extra package to give away. So that's the prize for next week. If you guys would like a package of the Purple Fine Shimmer Gems, put prize and I will award these, yikes, February 2nd. Um, when we get together next Friday. So put the word prize. These are very pretty, three different colors. I really like them. Well, I hope you all have a nice weekend. Get some rest, stay out of the rain and cold. And yes, Marcia, the gems are beautiful. And um, I hope you have just a great weekend. Thank you for popping on with me. It's so good to see all of you. 